And there's my seven tons of rock that I got this morning with the little sand thrown in. They were a little bit bigger than I expected, but that's okay. They're like this one here, for example. That one will be thin enough that it'll at least be able to start a course and then be able to work your whip my way up to these some of these thicker ones. And there's a shovel for scale just so that we see what we're looking at here. So yeah, there's some pretty big ones in there. Uh, and uh, fortunately, there's a couple of smaller ones. I wish they'd mostly been those, but can't have everything. And really, when all of these get in place, it's gonna look really super epic because of the size of the stones so large. And just so we see the rest of current progress, managed to get the rest of the sand moved. We had a little bit of rain, but not enough to do anything to the ponds. Got these garden beds in. One of them here, I got a combination of uh, subclover mix and barley. And then the other two got kind of a, a longer term situation with beets, which will come out when they get big enough to eat. And uh, biennial sweet clover, which the first year gets to be about a foot tall, and then the second year gets to be about six feet tall and makes huge taproot, and then becomes a very good place to grow something else on the third year. So the point is to delay maintenance with that for a, a, a long period of time, a couple of years, so that um, the client doesn't really have to deal with that. Uh, and otherwise, I've been managing to get everything scraped down, been working on that pile of dirt over there, and it's coming together slowly but surely, piece at a time. And uh, hopefully I'll be able to get that rock to run all the way around and down to the end on both of these paths from the beginning.